performance. Conan Bears, how are you doing, Milagros? Pretty good, pretty good. How was how was your trip? Honestly, it was the most interesting carpool I've ever been with. Uh, well, you're with Kelvin, yeah. Jut, Skips, and, and Chaos. And that's Chaos. A, that's so a pretty, that's, pretty that's definitely the Motley <laughs> crew. But we're going to get right into it. He's starting. He's actually starting Bowser Jr. Okay. Very okay. interesting uh, character choice. And Beast opted to stay with one of his favorite Pokemon in Charizard. So that's a respectable choice. I'm not really too familiar with this matchup. But I, I just expect some high level play, especially from these two players. Right. Well, if you guys did tune into the Tri-State Circuit, you would know that Yoda Cage did get technically, quote, a game off of Leon with uh, the Bowser Jr. So he is pretty confident in this character, but so is Beast in this Charizard. I like the down air into the up tilt. Look at the combos, but neither of them are, they're both just getting chip damage and not really getting anything that really counts yet. Ooh, oh, that counts. So yep, that counts. And unfortunate for Beast, he's not going to get the stock there and he's going to have to lose his stock. Like that, Yoda Cage sitting at 83%, but here comes the damage output that Bowser Jr. can, I guess he can do. I don't know anything about what, his, what he can do with the combo game, but he's definitely been juggling them. Right, no, uh, Bowser Jr. is actually pretty good at keeping his opponent in the air. Uh, this is a character that I think is slowly coming up. The thing is about Ultimate is that a lot of characters have, like, tools. Just, you know, 70, 78 characters. How many characters do we have yeah, now? There's about just so many. To 78, yeah, right. you're right about that. Um, yeah, Bowser Jr. just one of those unorthodox characters where, Ooh. you know, he wasn't really good in Smash 4. You can't really categorize him as Smash Ultimate, but you see that it's working out in Yoda Cage's favor. He's trying to show that this character is actually pretty good. Right. And both of them are doing a really good job of keeping, like, stage clear for both of each other. I like the way that he's trying to zone Beast out with the, um, with the, like, the up B, though. Koopa. That jab is going to kill, oh. though. Yeah, it's going to get the stock. And once again, Beast in a disadvantage state, sitting down one stock while Yoda Cage still sits at two. Beast, you got to respond now or never. I don't know. Uh, Beast is known for getting these kills quite early. I don't know if you saw that pasta game Oh, before. yeah. One so I think it's pretty even. Ooh, the Flare Blitz, kind of a risky option. Yoda gonna punish with a dash attack. Yeah, like you mentioned, you don't want to count out Beast, especially in when he has the Charizard there on lock. And if he's able to seal this stock, it could be a fairly a fair play game. Right. Ooh, going for the up air, I like it. But Yoda, I it's just that I Beast is having a hard time of like figuring out how to approach the situation. Like each time, that up air is gonna take the stock, but he's gonna get hit by that the Koopa, the yeah, clown, the Mecha Koopa the right Mecha there. Koopa. And 10% only done. I mean, you can't count out Beast. Oh, We've seen what not. he can do. Like you said, with Blazing Pasta, he was able to steal that Ooh. stock fairly early and sitting at really high percent as well. That back air was the reason he was able to steal that stock on Blazing. But let's see if it's gonna come into effect here Ooh. in this final stock. I like how Beast didn't go out there. Beast is the type of player to like. Once he's kind of like in the zone, he's ready. But like, oh my god, that oh spin out gosh. almost killed. He's the type of player to just like go in when he's ready. But there, I think he realized the block. No. Oh, wow, wow. Kill. So unfortunate for Beast to lose the stock the way he did. It looked like he could have lived that one out. But um, Yoda Cage is going to look pretty strong game one and take that game. Now we're moving to game two of this winner's semis. Whose controller is this? Mine. This is gross. It's, Look at this! It's Shinji's Fix My Stick special. Oh my god. It's 3D printed. Oh, okay. That's why, that's why. I saw this stick and I was like, I'll, I'll show you guys this after. But yeah. wow, this has been through a lot. <laughs> anyway, game two, Pokemon Trainer versus Morton. It looks We're like, going to go to Smash. I mean, it looks like Bowser Jr.'s uh, shell. I mean, Morton's shell, kinda. I should say. Yeah, it's kind of like, it has the spikes, you know, it's kind of broken. Yeah, but anyways, back to this matchup. We're taking things back to Smashville in this game two. Um, Beast now not going to go with the Charizard. He's yeah, going to no, opt to go Squirtle. It's game really one. smart because Morton, Bowser Jr., kind of a heavy character. And Squirtle is really known for getting these like high percent like grab combos at for Squirtle's low percent. Yoda going to grab the gonna grab the Koopa. I keep just calling it Koopa. Yeah, the Mecha Koopa. You can just call it the Koopa. People will understand what it is. It's the Mech. I should just <laughs> say Mech. And now we're going to see the Ivysaur. We did not see any bit of Ivysaur in that first game. So Ooh, let's see what it can do. I like that little conversion. At, sitting at 130 right now. Still not going to steal the stock. Bowser Jr. got some uh, meat in them. They're both... I don't feel like Yoda's camping. 
Like, he's running away a lot, but I don't feel like he's camping. Does yeah, that make sense? Yoda's trying to find the right moment again, and he's like, hey, I'm going to be running around you, but I don't know how I'm going to get in you yet. So right. if you want to make the first move, feel free to do so. It's not really a bait and punish. It's just me trying to find out what, I'm, what the hell I'm going to do. See if it works out. I mean, and that's kind of the character that Bowser Jr. is. Like, you never actually have a game plan with Bowser Jr. You just do things and hope that it works. So I think Beast would have been dead if he didn't take damage from that back, but he's de he's definitely the, the clown car anyway. Yeah, that up B has been a key factor in these edge guards for for Yoda Cage, and it's been working out in his favor. But he sits at seventy three percent, and that's nothing to be uh to be too comfortable Ooh. with right now. Ooh, that grab barely whiffing. Speaking of whip, that wine whip is gonna miss. But right now, Yoda Cage has him where he wants him on top of that platform, and here comes the juggling. Yoda's got to watch that. Beast is a fiend for that, for doing these, like, down air, up air tricks. Goes for the up smash. Not going to get, he'll, he'll get that on, um, he'll get that on Uno. He won't get that on Yoda. Ooh, the follow-ups, though. Yoda Cage is more, you can tell, it's very, very polished. She's very, very aware of what this character can do at 1%. Yeah, and it's in that He's max rage. No, no way. way. He could double, he could do it twice. Wait, what? Ooh, Did I just see it grab twice? Again. Oh Goes for these God. spin outs. Back oh. row, dead. No way. Sayonara. Two stocks down. And he's Beast not going to switch good. to Charizard, though. That's very interesting. He has to watch Mech there. And he's Set once too again far. in the, Yeah, once again in an offstage situation. And with Ivysaur, it's really scary to, to be there. But um, yeah, like you mentioned, I'm surprised we're not seeing more of the Charizard. I guess he's not having much faith in him against uh, the Morton here. Mech going to send him far away. I actually think that was kind of smart getting hit there because it actually sent him out of tra trajectory where Yoda Cage actually couldn't follow up. He's going way too much for these spin outs though. Oh, the call out coming in from Beast two, with two stocks and he's just going to go for it all. Spike it down. One, one apiece. Game three situation. Yoda Cage, how are you going to respond? Yoda Cage. Yoda Cage. Yoda's sick. It was actually a really good game. Gonna go to Kalos. I think this stage is really good for both Pokemon Trainer and Bowser Jr. aka Morton. He's sticking with Morton, though. He's sticking though, with three. it. Wow. I, you know what? I, I vibe with it, man. Like, if you're confident in your character, hell yeah. And I respect the choice. I mean, I don't know how his set count goes with the DK Pokemon Trainer matchup, but so he I has been really So I believe Yoda has only won once versus these Pokemon Trainer. Ooh, gonna catch the mech throat right back and starts the combo game right here, right now. Strong start from Beast. Yeah, it, it be your own tools that hurt you the most. Right. So it, it's sitting at 44%, but here comes Yoda Cage trying to respond back, trying to make up for uh, that little uh, mishap that happened there. 24% done. But this is Squirtle we're talking about. As much damage as he can give, he can also get racked up, especially right. with these little uh, Build-A-Bear combos that Bowser Jr. has. Smart switch. Gonna get hit by the Clown Gar. And Yoda's yeah. doing a much better job of like just keeping Beast out. Oh my, oh god. my god. The cannonball into That's the Mecha Koopa and the side B gonna steal the stock. 44% only done on Yoda Cage. He has not taken damage ever since that little uh, mishap with his Mecha Koopa. Right. No, he's doing a really good job. Beast is just getting tripped up by these down airs a lot of times. Like, look at this. But now Yoda's gonna lead in with it too much and Beast is gonna catch on. Yeah, and the thing with this stage pick is that it definitely goes into Bowser Jr.'s favor. You have him with the Cannonball, you have him with the Mecha Koopa, who's Ooh. been dominant, and that up into that that bear is going to put some damage into Beast right now, sitting in a very uncomfortable Ooh. percent. Nice spot dodge into the up beat. not going to kill. Maybe post, maybe pre-patch it would have. Oh, Ooh, the call out. But still not going to see the stock. Up beat, not going to kill quite yet either. Yeah, when you're in a high ceiling stage and with flat and with side blast zones pretty far, I mean, you're still going to live it out. And that's... Back throw going to yeah, take it. Yeah, back throw is going to seal the stock, though. But 114% of extra credit right now. Beast is in no situation of being comfortable. He has to rack up this damage, and it's not about later. It's about now. If you can't do it now, it could be lights out. He's doing a really good job of now avoiding the projectiles. Yoda, I believe that was definitely throwing it the wrong way. I just think Beast is having a really hard time of just punishing like anything like aerial that like Yoda is doing. Yes. Yoda gonna get the up throw. Oh, 
almost starts the almost starts the up air combos, but doesn't quite get it. Could switch out by Beast. Yeah, gonna go back Beast, to Ivysaur. Beast wants to get in his face, but every time he does so, he's putting himself in a very very tough situation where if he doesn't get the punish that he wants, he's gonna get punished himself. Beast really needs to stop now. He is eating way too much percent. Yeah, but don't count him out yet. Yeah, no, definitely not. But still, it's just that Yoda's Yoda's patience game here. Like you can see, he's setting up with the mech but and spacing with it. He's using the clown car. Oh my god, that was terrifying. Nice switch though, coming in from Beast, avoiding that up B, um, cart cart bomb from uh, mm. killing him. It's just that, like, Yoda is giving him really nowhere to go. Like, you can see that the Mech Koopa is controlling the ground, and then um, the Cannonball is really controlling the midair, so it, it's forcing him to, it's forcing him to full hop. Gonna get the throw. Goes for the back air, doesn't quite find the opportunity. Un gonna once back again, again. offstage situation. He's not gonna, he's Down gonna tilt? get the F tilt. Oh my god. Or F tilt, whichever it is. Ooh, oh, no punish once again. Three. Oh, no tech? Wow, in interesting from Yoda Cage, not getting that tech. f tilt situation once again, off stage. But here he comes, responding with a fair of his own. Back, Back throw! throw. Might take it. No, not no, yet. No, I think that move is stale already. Used it up so many times. Oh, He's stalling! Uh, is, that, is that a thing? What the heck? I, I didn't guess even... it's a thing. What? Forest Insane. Throw. Yoda could send his way into winner's finals right here, right now with Bowser Jr. And he does with the spin out. The clown cart coming into play. That side B is pretty strong. I, don't, I mean, don't sleep on Bowser Jr., guys. I'm telling you right now. He takes after his father. And Yoda Cage with the small pop-off come back to the room. Listen, at least he wasn't <laughs> clapping for himself after stock one. <laughs> All right, I'm going to get off. That was, right. that was my celebrity commentating stock. Thank you, Lyric, for joining us. And of course. hopefully, I have to find avocado now and give this back to him. Anyone who wants to come in, uh, feel free to do so. But till then, I will be here alone. Beast did fairly well, but we'll be seeing more of him in later on in losers bracket. Right now, we're gonna get six WX and chaos. The Sonic against the Bowser. Hopefully, we do see the Bowser come up.